even if you look into the most remote corner of our universe, you would find round planets and stars there with a 100% chance. In this universe, it's simply impossible to do otherwise. Gravity tends to shape everything in space, turning the mass of a planet into a ball. But this is only in our universe. According to the multiverse theory, there are many other universes in which completely different laws of physics unknown to us operate. This means that the shape of the planets can also be different. A cube, a cone, a cylinder, a donut, whatever. What if in one of the parallel universes our Earth exists, but in the form of a cube? What would we be like if we found ourselves on a giant cube? Scientists reassure us we won't turn into terrible mutants or some incomprehensible creatures. But still, we'll be different. First of all, we would become lighter due to the redistribution of gravity, which would shift to the center of each side of the cube. The closer to the edges, the less weight. So, according to scientists' estimates, Residents of the center would be 90% of our current mass, and closer to the corners, only 60%. Getting rid of excess weight and gravity would open up new opportunities for us. For example, you could easily move down a slope or climb mountains. This would come at an opportune moment, since the whole of the cubic Earth would turn into a continuous slope. The fact is that gravity would be directed perpendicular to the surface, only in the core of each side. In other places, it would be held at an angle. From this, as we move away from the center, we would always climb a steep mountain. The closer to the edge of the square, the greater would be the bias, but the whole terrain would look just like a flat plate. But an amazing picture would open from the edge of the cube. Each side would look like a bowl surrounded by mountains. A huge water bubble would rise in the middle because water under the influence of gravity would begin to flow into the center. In the very middle of the ocean would reach an incredible depth. Similar changes await the atmosphere. For clarity, let's mentally divide all the water and atmosphere of the Earth into six equal volumes. Then put one piece of water and air on the flat sides of our cubic planet. Water would float in the center of each face in a square with rounded edges, curved like a giant lens. Its size would reach 4,000 kilometers, that's about 2,500 miles in diameter, and the depth of the center is about 300 kilometers or 200 miles. The atmosphere over the ocean would also take the form of a bubble and would stretch about 100 kilometers or 62 miles from the surface of the water. And since life can exist only in the lower 10 kilometers or 6 miles of the atmosphere, nature would throw us only life-saving circles of land around the ocean, 10 kilometers or 6 miles wide. True, scientists believe that this is enough for all of humanity if you turn a residential area into a solid, huge city. And that means no gardens, fields, forests, or even parks. At the same time, people would have to be imprisoned for years because it's very difficult to go beyond the circle. Of course, when you get really tired of your neighbors breathing down the back of your neck in this cramped city, you could take an extreme trip to a desert zone. But it would be impossible to walk there without a spacesuit, like on the moon. Outside the living circle, we're also awaited by the lack of oxygen and a very dull, monotonous, rocky landscape. But to cross the edges of the cube without the help of spaceships won't succeed at all. Angles would rise more than 3,000 kilometers, or about 2,000 miles. That is, almost 400 times more than Mount Everest. So the top of each mega wall would go into near-Earth space. Due to this complete isolation, life on different sides of the Earth would develop completely independently of each other. 
Gradually, in all of these small worlds, their own, sometimes whimsical flora and fauna would arise. Well, people from different sides of the cube, of course, would not be able easily as now to communicate with their relatives. Friends and relatives would never even see each other on Skype and won't be able to correspond with social networks. After all, there won't be internet on the cubic Earth. The creation of the World Wide Web would be hindered by a small and, at first glance, harmless gravity, which would remain at the corners of the cube. However, because of this, the orbital satellites won't be able to fly close to the edges without colliding with them. If, after many years, new technologies allow visiting relatives, you may not recognize them. According to one version of events, people would quickly adapt to the conditions of their world and would differ from each other. The six worlds that we would get for the price of one would most likely turn out to be not very hospitable. But maybe you don't want to have a square head from all the oddities of the Earth cube. On what kind of planet would you like to live and why? Write in the comments and let's choose the coolest idea together. Perhaps the Earth in the form of a donut or a toroid would seem more appetizing to you. However, life on a rounded planet with a hole in the middle would also not be so tasty. Once a donut is able to simply deprive all people of shelter, the reason is that gravity in its different parts would be very different. Closer to the equator, it would become very strong and near the edges, weak. True, under certain circumstances, according to scientists, a donut nevertheless would be able to maintain the stability of the orbit. But in this case, it would turn out to be a completely crazy planet. Days and nights in such a world would start rushing like mad. This is especially true of the inner part of the planet, where each time of day would last only about three hours. And the whole donut world would be divided into narrow climatic zones. From space, it would seem striped because of the sharp alternation of hot tropical forests and cold tundra. Such a dramatic change in a landscape would cause an insane rotational speed, which is eight times higher than that of our Earth. From this, the air currents would penetrate into the hole in the middle of the planet and twist around its body. In addition, the clouds in this ghostly world would rise higher than they are now, and the moon would be able to pass through very strange orbits, around a donut, or even through it. Perhaps this would make the planet a terrific place to travel. In much the same way as a donut would be a cylinder-shaped Earth, life on such a space object, according to scientists, is likely to be far from sweet. In different parts of the planet, the force of gravity would dramatically change. This would cause catastrophically strong earthquakes and landslides that could destroy the Earth. However, even if the planet withstands such cataclysms, then with time, most likely, it would turn into a sphere, destroying all the flora and fauna. It's clear that all such incredible forms of the Earth are just an assumption. But in reality, our space home has the shape of an ellipse. But some people seriously believe that we live on a plane rolled into a cone. Even they represent the sun and the moon with such pyramids, although even with the naked eye, one can see the rounded shape of these celestial bodies. We can also observe that during the eclipse, the moon casts a round shadow on our planet. However, supporters of the cone still insist on being believed, since their own eyes lie, distorting the world. According to cone lovers, Astronauts and pilots who saw the Earth ellipse from above are also lying. Apparently, everyone has just entered into some kind of conspiracy to change our view on the form of our home planet. And the space images that capture the elliptical shape of the Earth are also fake conspirators. It's just not clear for what purpose such a global intrigue was started and what evidence of a global conspiracy exists. 
There are also supporters of the theory of a hollow Earth. However, experiments showed that in this case, its outer shell would immediately collapse into the inner one. But even if, for some reason, this didn't happen, due to the lack of gravity, we would immediately be blown away from the dummy planet into space. Yes, along with the oceans and atmosphere. Somehow, after that, I wasn't attracted to changing the shape of the planet. But it was still cool to imagine the Earth as a cool, zingy transformer. If it was the same for you, quickly give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as click on the bell so you never miss another new release.